the flow of charge in a period of time is called the current. Think of it like water flowing in a pipe. The water is our charge and we pump some in from the top, send it through the pipe and it comes out the bottom. And the number of liters of water flowing by per second, that would be our current. Current of water in this case. So liters flowing per second. It's a measure of how quickly the water is flowing in the pipe. And that is, this is true for electrical current as well, except instead of water, we're talking coulombs, coulombs of charge. So current in electrical terms is how many coulombs, those are those bags of charge, six million, million, million charges, positive charges, how many coulombs are flowing per second. And this is summed up with the equation which I like to call quit. Q equals IT. Now it's not in the form which is current equals, so I is not the subject of this formula, but it's easier to remember if you just use quit, Q equals I times T. So what are these letters, symbols? Well, Q is the charge. The charge. And what units is charge measured in? Units of Coulombs, capital C for Coulombs. Coulombs. I is the current that's flowing. And the unit of I, or the current, is the ampere, or the amp. In amps. T is the time. And we always use standard unit of seconds for time. So it's important that you just recognize what the letters stand for and we'll be doing some calculations on this equation. So current is a flow of coulombs and it's how many coulombs pass by each second, hence the stopwatch and the coulombs flowing past in this wire.